Today is the 20th anniversary of 9-11. So there's a... Obviously going to be a lot of messaging about this today. Um, Let's talk about some of the things that uh, we don't... That don't generally get covered too much in the news about what happens to our country on 9-11. Um, 9-11, I think, was the first major event, it was a huge terrorist event, that, um, kicked off the modern day conspiracy theories. And I've already been seeing it since, um, uh, the last couple of days. People are already, like, people are already passing around that it was an inside job kind of bullshit. Now, <clears throat> you could say it was an inside job in the sense that Bush had the information in front of him. He could have done something to prevent this from happening. But this whole, like, all of these conspiracy theories and shit are so harmful to our society. The the whole, oh no, the, the buildings were taken down by explosives. And you could tell because the way that the center pole was um cut which actually happened later right like that actually happened as part of the demolition and people just are unwilling to um see the evidence in front of them and realize that not everything is some diabolical conspiracy i hate that so much i hate that you know i'm especially recently like some of the stuff i've been going through um i hate that there are so many people that are so childish and they're grown ass adults grown ass adults we can't solve problems in America because people are so fucking stupid Uh, (laughs) we can't can't even do things like flatten the curve (laughs) can't even like um, get out of a pandemic because people are like like, you know when, when we first got into the pandemic and there was like all these old articles circulating about anti-maskers from the 1920s um, when they went through the Spanish flu. It was like, oh my gosh, how could people be like that? And then here we are like a year and a half later, like we have an entire uh, section of our population that really is that dumb. (laughs) Really is that dumb. Um, Anyway, it's 9-11. So as tradition goes, everybody generally shares where you were when you found out, when you found out. I was, um, I had just dropped my son off at school and um, I flipped on K-Rock, the Kevin and Bean morning show. But it was one of their off weeks where Kevin and Bean were um, on vacation. So the, the, the two people who had been left behind were Ralph Garman and Doc on the Rock. And, um, it was one of these weeks where they would have been playing like best of clips and um, instead they I flipped on the radio and it was Doc on the Rock and Ralph Garman saying that our world will never be the same we're under attack Um, and explaining what happened I think there's actually um, there might actually be some a podcast out with the recording from that morning's broadcast. I think one of their producers might have been Omar actually captured the um, the recording. So I did drive into work because I, I didn't like it takes a while for people to like comprehend like what is actually happening, right? Like you're like, oh my gosh, this sounds horrible. What the hell is happening? You go into work and then you see that everybody's affected, right? So that's what happened to me. I go in, they actually have the footage on in the break rooms um, because I couldn't see anything over the radio, right? The footage is on in the break rooms and everybody is affected. And then they started saying that we could go home because people were just like, we were not in an emotional state to conduct any business. And um, so many businesses across America were starting to shut down, um, including Wall Street, shut down I think for three days. Um, because we didn't know what was happening and we, 
nobody knew what was happening and we as western digital is where i worked so uh we were considered a potential target too because uh we were one of the top two um producers of hard drives in the country um So I went, I went home, picked up my son from school, and cried, and explained to him what happened in the best of my ability, and watched a bunch of news footage, like probably all everybody else did. Um, I hope that one day we can get past the point where people are listening to constant conspiracy theories. It's good to have a healthy distrust in public officials and government and you know hold them to account it is not healthy to become a conspiracy theorist who doubts absolutely everything to to the point where you're actually going to hurt yourself and the people around you because you don't trust anybody go get vaccinated the pandemic is real people are really dying and we're um, I read yesterday that we are very close to surpassing the amount of people that were that died in the Civil War, which was 750,000 people, and we're close to losing that many people due to this pandemic. Please go take care of yourselves, guys, and take care of your, everybody else around you. There are very few people in this country who have legitimate reasons for not getting the vaccine. Very few. Please get vaccinated.